Hello and welcome. In this video, I will give you some very important tips for number series tasks. These tasks are one of the most commonly used aptitude tests by employers during the recruitment process. If you have to pass such a test for your job application, it is very important that you know that there are some special number sequences which you must have learned beforehand in order to be able to recognize and solve them during the test. Now I'm going to show you 10 of these number sequences that I have already got to know during my career. Here you can see an overview and we will take a closer look at these number sequences one after the other. So we start with the prime numbers sequence. A prime number is a whole number greater than one that is only divisible by itself and one with no remainder. For example, 5 is a prime number because 5 is only divisible by 1 and by 5 itself. In contrast, 6 is not a prime number because 6 can also be divided by 2 and by 3. This list contains all prime numbers up to 100. Number series tests are very often based on these prime numbers. These practice tests are examples of number series with prime numbers. Some of these series are easy to solve and some are more difficult. Square numbers sequence. A square number is the result of multiplying a number by itself. For example, 16 is a square number because multiplying 4 by itself is 16. Here you can see an overview with square numbers. Number series tests are very often based on square numbers, for example, like these practice tests. Cube numbers sequence. A cube number is the result when a number has been multiplied by itself twice. For example, 27 is a cube number because if you multiply 3 by itself twice, you get 27. The same with 64 if you multiply 4 by itself twice. Here you can see a list with the first cube numbers. These practice tests are examples of number series tests with cube numbers. Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where a number is always the addition of two previous numbers. The Fibonacci sequence is very popular for number series tests. Here you can see examples of typical number series tests with the Fibonacci sequence. Triangular number sequence. A triangular number is a number that can be represented by a pattern of dots arranged in an equilateral triangle with the same number of dots on each side. Here you can see a list with the first triangular numbers. Number series tests with triangular numbers could look like these practice tests. Tetrahedral numbers sequence. A tetrahedral number, also known as triangular pyramidal number, is a figurate number that represents the number of stacked spheres in a three-dimensional pyramid with a triangular base and three sides. These graphics visualize the calculation of the tetrahedral numbers. Each layer of this pyramid represents one of the triangular numbers that I explained on the previous slide. So the tetrahedral numbers are the sum of the triangular numbers. 
This list shows the first tetrahedral numbers. And here are examples of typical number series tests with tetrahedral numbers. Square pyramidal numbers sequence. A square pyramidal number is a figurate number that represents the number of stacked spheres in a three-dimensional pyramid with a square base and four sides. This graphic visualizes the calculation of a square pyramidal number. Each layer represents one of the square numbers. So the square pyramidal numbers are the sum of the square numbers. Here you can see a list with the first square pyramidal numbers. These practice tests are examples of number series tests with square pyramidal numbers. Binary numbers sequence. A binary numbers sequence is based on the binary number system, where all numbers made up of only zeros and ones. In the binary number system, there is no 2, no 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. There are only zeros and ones. This list contains the first binary numbers. And here you can see examples of number series tests with binary numbers. Look and say sequence. To generate a member of the sequence from the previous member, read off the digits of the previous member, counting the number of digits in groups of the same digit. For example, 1 is read off as 1 1 or 1 1. 11 is read off as two ones or two one. Twenty one is read off as one two, then one one or one two one one. One thousand two hundred eleven is read off as one one. One two, then two ones, or one one, one two, two one, and one hundred eleven thousand two hundred twenty one is read off as three ones, two twos, then one one, or three one, two two, one one. And this is an example of a typical number series test with the look and say sequence. The last sequence of numbers I want to show you in this video is just the number pi. It is possible that a number series test consists of the first digits of pi. Therefore, I recommend you to know the first digits of this number. Here you can see the first digits of pi. 3.14159265535 There are also websites with thousands of digits of pi, but I think the first few digits are enough. And this is what a possible number series test with a number pi could look like. That brings me to the end of my video. I hope this video could help you. I wish you the best of luck and a lot of success for your recruitment process. Goodbye.